Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you and let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You tried lifting the lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening it. You then tried banging on the lid. To unsettle the dirt, maybe somebody will start digging their way down to helping you. This is what it's like to feel at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people probably standing right by your grave. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you're abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose? Now, if you don't care about your life, what about the people that count on you and love you most? For an example, people like your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, brother, sister, children, even grandchildren. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be like the person that I just read about on these index cards that waited and waited until it was way too late. Instead, pick up the phone and call me at 844-405-HELP, and I promise you I'll help you take your life back. For your life is gone. People like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741. Larry Geis and I always tell folks like you, it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter where you've been. What matters most is that you're here because you want a better today and a brighter tomorrow. Larry Geis can be found at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy, 516-458-2741. Larry will help you from your addiction to your recovery, from depression to happier times, from your low self-esteem to raising your self-esteem. Larry Geis, 516-458-2741. Folks, don't forget to take your slippers off at night, but don't just leave them at the edge of your bed. Instead, start, starting tonight, put them under your bed. Stick them way under your bed. In the morning, when you wake up, when a God allows you to wake up and you get to see that beautiful stream and waterfall behind me, get on your knees to retrieve those slippers because remember, they're under your bed. And while you're on your knees, utilize something that I choose to call knee mail. That's K-N-E-E mail. That's your communication between you and God each and every morning. The power of prayer is tremendous. Start utilizing. Ask God for guidance and direction. For, uh, forgiveness and mercy. Thank God for having a home, clothing, relationship, food. Ask God to protect you throughout the day and the week and your whole family. When you're done with that, put those slippers on and walk with God 24-7. Knee mail from your lips to God's ears. Utilize knee mail. K-N-E-E mail. It's being on your knees and asking God for forgiveness and guidance each and every day. And you will see results. Knee mail. Ten, ten uh, tips I want to talk about to strengthen your family's bonds. Uh, bring your family closer and build a firm uh, um, foundation. Happy families have strong uh, family bonds. As the leaders of the family unit, parents have to be responsible for the strengthening and protecting these bonds. It doesn't just happen naturally in our hectic day-to-day -day lives. Let's fix this a little bit. But, uh, 10 ways to strengthen the family bond. You can create this firm foundation by committing to these 10 essential practices that will strengthen your family's relationships. And let's start with number one. Schedule family time. When you have teens, you will need to take a look at everyone's schedule. Try to make a regular night, maybe once a week, when the entire family gets together for a fun activity. By keeping it on a regular schedule, kind of like knee mail, praying each and every day in the morning, everyone will know that they need to keep their night clear for family times. If you are going to plan a day trip, try to do it at least one month in advance. Post it on the family calendar and make sure that the adults and the teens are aware of the plan so they don't make other plans around that. Number two, an important one, eat meals together as much as possible. Studies have shown that eating meals together helps reinforce communication between the family. Choose a few nights during the week when you can expect everyone to gather around the dinner table. Don't allow phones or other electronics either. Just eat the meal and have a conversation. Make it an open forum. If you're unable to get together as a family for dinner because of the busy schedules, try breakfast. Number three, do family responsibilities together. Make cleaning your home 
or caring for the yard responsibility of the whole family. Create a list of chores and have everyone sign up for it. Set up a time when everyone can tackle their chore at the same time. If your teens need a little bit more flexibility, give them a deadline to have their chores completed, but try to have it as a family unit. Number four, create family mission statement. It may seem a little corny or too business-like, but it works. A family mission statement can remind every family member about your, uh, your core values and what you love most about each other. It is simple and fun, developed as a family. It's a great project for every family night. Place your mission statement in the uh, predominant place in your home, like the refrigerator. Read it and talk about it as often as possible. Number five, have family meetings. Family meetings are a good time for everyone to check in with each other, air grievance, or discuss future plans, like vacationing. These can be scheduled events or can even be impromptu and allow any member of the family to call a meeting if they feel the need. Communication is very important. Start each of these meetings by reading your family mission statement. If you have a large family, you might also want to begin by asking everyone for something and see what's on their agenda. Write down what everyone wants to talk about and each and every person take turns one by one expressing those concerns. Number six, encourage support for each other. Family support is important and you can build this bond that will last your kids a lifetime. Even when they're your age and after you're gone. Encourage everyone to learn about things that are important to everyone else and support each other through good and through bad times. Share when something goes well at work. Ask your teen how your test won, uh, how their test went. Co uh, commiserate when your son's team loses a game. Celebrate good grades and reward good behavior by doing something special together as a family. Number seven, take time out for yourself. Parenting is a huge responsibility at, that you are required to fulfill each and every day. Even Department of Labor requires companies to give employees two mid ten minute breaks during the workday. Shouldn't you do the same? The reality is that you will be a better parent when you take some time off just for you. Take a break and read a chapter and uh, in the book and then maybe play a game of golf. Do something you enjoy, even if it's only for a few minutes a day. Volunteer together is number eight. Giving your time to make someone else's life a little better is always a powerful learning um, experience. Learning important life lessons together will strengthen the relationship you have with your children. Spending a day at the local food bank or a weekend building a home for a charity will be a valuable experience you can share throughout your life. Volunteering is a positive experience and it's a good idea to demonstrate that to your teens. Number nine, become involved with your teens' interests. You don't have to be a coach, but you can help out with a fundraiser or be in charge of snacks for the bus on the way uh, back from the game night. Ask where you can help. It will show your teen you care about what they are interested in on a daily basis. Number 10 is join something with other families, whether this is within your community or church. Being with other families will strengthen your own family bonds. These are the things to consider when you're trying to straighten out uh, or trying to uh, concrete glue together family bond. And it's quite important that we uh, abide by a lot of these things. And I just want to uh, go over the beginning of this one more time because I thought it was quite important. Happy families have strong family bonds. Happy families have strong family bond bonds. As the leaders of a family unit, parents, you and I, have to be responsible for strengthening and protecting these bonds. It doesn't happen naturally in our hectic day-to-day -day lives. The 10 uh, ways that we discussed will strengthen family bonds together. You can create the firm foundation by committing to the 10 that we discussed and doing them on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Your family will appreciate all that. Don't forget to do the scheduling and the family time together. It is so important to have a family as a unit come together at least once a week, but try to do it a couple times a week as a unit, do things together.
Another thing is to eat meals together. I always say it becomes an open forum when you eat meals together because uh, people get to talk, you get to vent, you get to actually pick up on things that they might be talking about uh, that they usually wouldn't talk about if it was just do family responsibilities together. Quite important. Come up with chores for everybody. Have maybe like on a Saturday in our house when we were growing up, we would all take turns vacuuming and raking leaves and shoveling, so whatever it might have been. Uh, of course, you might want to also include create a family mission statement. Put that right on your refrigerator. But those are just some of the things that you might want to look into. I hope to God that these uh, 10 items we discussed helps you build a bond within your family. And if there's anything I can do, remember I keep a hard copy of every single show. All you need to do is call me at 844-405-HELP or text me at 631-599-0218. And remember to praise God each and every day. The power of prayer is working and it will work in your life and may God bless you.